Morning everybody, it's Mr Beckett here. Um, following on from yesterday's assembly on what makes a good sport, I'm just going to have a quick recap of what a good sport is and then we're going to talk about why we play sport in the first place. So, being a good sport means remembering the reason we're playing sport in the first place, to have fun. Good sports follow the rules of the game. Good sports also listen to the referee of the person who is in charge of the sport. Good sports tell the truth, even if you make a mistake. Good sports play to have fun. It's not all about winning and losing, just have fun. Good sports are good winners and also good losers. So that's congratulating the other team regardless. Good sports celebrate winning without putting the losing team down. The losing team congratulates the winning team. Good sports let everyone have a turn. Good sports always play fair. And good sports treat others the way they want to be treated. So, why do we play sport and what are the benefits? Let's listen and find out. The victory of the underdog over the favoured team. The last minute penalty shot that wins the tournament. The high energy training montages. Many people love to glorify victory on the playing field, cheer for favourite teams and play sports. But here's a question. Should we be so obsessed with sports? Is playing sports actually as good for us as we make it out to be? Or just a fun and entertaining pastime? What does science have to say? First of all, it's well accepted that exercise is good for our bodies and minds, and that's definitely true. Exercising, especially when we're young, has all sorts of health benefits, like strengthening our bones, clearing out bad cholesterol from our arteries, and decreasing the risk of stroke, high blood pressure, and diabetes. Our brains also release a number of chemicals when we work out, including endorphins. These natural hormones, which control pain and pleasure responses in the central nervous system, can lead to feelings of euphoria, or what's often called a runner's high. Increased endorphins and consistent physical activity in general can sharpen your focus and improve your mood and memory. So does that mean we'd get just as much benefit going to the gym five days a week as we would joining a team and competing? Well, here's where it gets interesting. Because it turns out that if you can find a sport and a team you like, studies show that there are all sorts of benefits that go beyond the physical and mental benefits of exercise alone. Some of the most significant are psychological benefits, both in the short and long term. Some of those come from the communal experience of being on a team, for instance, learning to trust and depend on others, to accept help, to give help, and to work together towards a common goal. In addition, commitment to a team and doing something fun can also make it easier to establish a regular habit of exercise. School sport participation has also been shown to reduce the risk of suffering from depression for up to four years. Meanwhile, your self-esteem and confidence can get a big boost. There are a few reasons for that. One is found in training. Just by working and working at skills, especially with a good coach, you reinforce a growth mindset within yourself. That's when you say, even if I can't do something today, I can improve myself through practice and achieve it eventually. That mindset is useful in all walks of life. And then there's learning through failure. One of the most transformative long-term benefits of playing sports. The experience of coming to terms with defeat can build the resilience and self-awareness necessary to manage academic, social, and physical hurdles. So even if your team isn't winning all the time, or at all, there is a real benefit to your experience. Now, not everyone will enjoy every sport. Perhaps one team is too competitive, or not competitive enough. It can also take time to find the sport that plays to your strengths. That's completely okay, but if you spend some time looking, you'll be able to find a sport that fits your individual needs. And if you do, there are so many benefits. You'll be a part of a supportive community. You'll be building your confidence. You'll be exercising your body and you'll be nurturing your mind. 
not to mention having fun. So, once again, please send in or tweet any pictures or videos of children and adults playing sport whilst demonstrating how to be a good sport. Have fun and stay safe. Speak to you soon.